here we go with part three of emotions and detecting emotions, how we go about detecting emotions that we see. So um, most people are we're, we're actually as humans, we're actually pretty darn good at reading nonverbal cues and deciphering um, emotions, right? This is something that we learned growing up. And one of the things that's really important um, in this is our experience. We experience influences how we perceive emotions, as we see it here in a second. Um, this next page, you're going to see an example of that. Actually, let me just go to that right now. So, um, right, this is an angry face, and this is a, a fearful face, and these are a continuum in between. So, like this guy right here, or this picture right here, is like a mix of anger and fear, all right? So, they took this, they kind of morphed it. So, this is a morph of angry and fearful. Now, based on experiences, peop, uh, children were shown these pictures or shown this picture and asked, is that an angry face or is that a fearful face? And children who were abused, right, children who were abused, they said this picture was angry much more often than uh, other children. So children who were abused said this picture was angry. And why? Because we place a lot of our uh, um, interpretation on experience. All right, so when we see, right, when you see that face in your mom's eyes, right, you know what that means. Or you see that face in your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever's face, you know what that means. It's because this experience helps us detect these emotions. Um, one of the things that we're not so hot at as humans is um, deceiving emotions. So emotions that people are pretending to um, share with you, but they're not really real. So, like, here's some examples here, like, which of these two pictures, right, uh, one or two, is a real happy face? So is, it, is she really happy here or is she really happy here? Um, the answer in all of these cases is number two. Number two are the actual true happiness. Uh, some things you can kind of see uh, with happiness is the eyes kind of, the, the muscles of the eyes kind of point upwards. You have some more um, creases and wrinkles, if you will, in, in, around your cheeks and your face and you squint a little bit more when you're actually truly happy and truly smiling. So these are a couple of things, you know, keep in mind. There's like lots of books about reading people's faces and whatnot um, that you can check out if you're more interested in it. But it's actually, you know, pretty interesting to see like somebody really smiling or is they just faking it. Um, and we're not really, as humans, really good at doing that just naturally. Whereas we are pretty good at just knowing emotions and detecting that. Um, now, gender and emotions, right? So women, right, um, you might uh, not be too surprised to find out, are better at reading nonverbal cues and deciphering emotions than men, right? So studies show that women are better at doing that. So when shown pictures like um, movies or pictures uh, without any sounds, you can, women are more likely to accurately define what emotion the people in the um, videos are, are having. Um, and so what that can lead to, right, is, is we have this idea that women are more sensitive than men. That's often, uh, there's often facts behind this. Sensitive. Uh, women are more sensitive than men because um, increased ability to decipher emotions can often make you more sensitive. If you know it's there, then you're able to react to it better. Whereas, uh, you know, if you don't know it's there, you're, you're kind of ignorant. And so you don't know it's there, so you can't react to it quite as well. And so that's uh, women are, do a better job of that than men, in the, for the most part, right? Just like everything in psychology, there's always exceptions, and this isn't true of everyone. So, um, however, the one emotion where uh, men outdo the women is anger, right? Anger is seen more as a masculine emotion. Um, if you looked at these two uh, pictures, right? These are two like gender neutral faces. They're supposed to be right with no hair, no nothing. Uh, these were shown to uh, research participants, and why don't you guys take a look, like, um, which one looks like a male face and which one looks like a female face, right? It's the same exact face, but one of them you could probably are labeling as a male face, and one of them you're probably labeling as a female face. This is probably the female face, and this is probably the male face, although it's, they're both exactly the same faces, right? Just with one looking a little bit angry and one looking mad. So we interpret anger as a male emotion rather than a female emotion. And then women uh, physically express emotion better than men do. Uh, and that's probably no surprise to a lot of boyfriends and girlfriends around there. Um, when watching sad movies, 
men and women afterwards uh, self-described as both feeling just about the exact same emotions. So it's not that men don't have the same emotions as women. Um, research has shown most of the time it's that they don't express it quite as well. So they did you know naturalistic observation where they watched people in a movie theater, they watched the women, they watched the men, uh, they watched how they um, reacted to different emotionally uh, provocative events, and then afterwards they had them describe you know how did you feel during these different parts of the movie, and I, un unsurprisingly the men uh, didn't react as much as the women did during the movie. But on the survey, which was a little bit surprising, is that the men you know, were equal to the women on their, uh, how they felt. So men do have feelings. There you go. Um, now kind of a cool thing with emotions is that, um, emotions not only communicate emotions, they also amplify and regulate it. So just by smiling, right, that's helping regulate your emotions. You're, so when you smile, you're sending signals to your brain, your muscles, the motor cortex of your brain is sending signals around and it's telling you, hey, I'm smiling, so it's kind of you know bouncing back and forth. There, I should be happy, and so actually smiling does change your emotions. It will change it for a more positive emotion. Likewise, if you're frowning or scowling, it can change it more negatively. Um, that's what this idea of facial feedback is. Um, that's facial feedbacks. Uh, the effect of facial expressions. Expressions on perceived emotions. Uh, let's do emotions up here. On perceived emotions. So, when you, based on what the what your face says, you know your perceived emotion on that event is going to be uh, related to you know what you're doing. So, um, smile more, smile often, and you're going to be happier often, just simply by this idea of facial feedback and that these expressions, your facial expressions um, help dictate what you're actually feeling. So if you're feeling sad, watch a funny movie or uh, pretend to laugh at your friend's jokes or your teacher's uh, ridiculous jokes as well. So uh, thank you and we'll do part four next.